All right, gentlemen, this is for the bell. If you give your instructions, I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands all times, just defend yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, go back, let's do this. Jones did not make eye contact with Rampage. He did at the weigh-ins, but not tonight at the stare down. I would want to stare down. No kidding. Jones gets the scariest stare down face of all time. He is angry, he is motivated, and he is in great shape. Let's fight! And he wants his belt back. Look at this. Oh, my. And here we go. Tonight's clock brought to you what by Gears this? of War 3, available now only on Xbox 360. What is this? I think he's just ad-libbing this. Honestly, I doubt that this was even a plan. Interesting. Oh. Rampage got off a knee there. And Bones has the clinch. Now, this is where John Jones is great, though, with his Greco-Roman background. He's got some spectacular throws. Loves the lateral drop. And has amazing leverage with his long limbs. Nice knee to the body. Rampage, Rampage went said he went low. Yep, Josh Rosenthal saying he caught him. He attacked the knee there that time. And again with the knee. Now Rampage going to be the aggressor here. Jones would love to take Rampage for a ride. Right now he's working the neck. He's got his neck. Jump. Rampage has to be very careful here because John Jones has some spectacular chokes. He's out. Championship fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, nice elbow. Jones very meticulously broke down Mauricio Shogun Hood. See the knee? See how he used the leg to get the wrist unlocked there? Nice move by Rampage. Veteran move. Speaking of veteran moves, Jones went with the foot stomps. Yep. Old school. Here where it all began, Denver, Colorado. Now he wants the trip. Very different pace when you have 25 minutes potentially to fight at high altitude. Best condition of his life or not, Jones would like to test the cardio of Rampage. Which is his stance, throws the kick. Swung the front kick to the body right away. And that's something that's very hard to deal with when you're talking about that kind of reach. Man, 11 and a half inch reach advantage. The long legs, the long limbs of the champion. Rampage wants to get inside and fight the phone booth. And Rampage has even more problems with this reach because he has a boxing-centered attack. So he uses his arms more, whereas John Jones uses a lot of leg kicks and, you know, and kicks from the outside where he's way away from the punching power of Rampage. And as he told both of us, Joe, he really worked his leg kicks with Mike Winkle John. Tries to toss Rampage aside. Good head movement by Rampage. Rampage is swinging for the fence. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to prove that he is still and will be for a while one of MMA's elite head kick again. Rampage would love to counter that head kick. But Jones is so far away from him when he throws it. He's using perfect technique. Nice kick to the knee there. Went up high again. And this is a Muay Thai attack here from Jones early. Nice leg kick. Very nicely done. And he's able to do all of this out of harm's way. 90 seconds. And he has such a spectacular physical advantage over almost everyone he faces. Because of that reach, he can hit them in a place where they can't hit him. And he is having his way. Yep. He, he was looking for the chin, and I like that teep. I like that on the knee, buckling his opponent. Foot jab. Rampage closes the distance. A couple of those front kicks look very much like Anderson Silva, Vitor Belfort, or at least working its range there. And John is just looking to time a throw here. Time a throw or a takedown or perhaps something wild. The thing about him is you don't, you don't know what he's going to do. He throws so many spinning elbows and so many wild techniques. It's so hard to figure out what he's setting up for. Whereas with Rampage, he's setting up for a left hand or a right hand. That's a big advantage for John Jones. And that was one of the things talked about with Rampage is a lot of his victories come the same way. And there's that big spinning, elbow. spinning elbow. Just like against Shogun. Perfectly timed. And he lands it. 
Under 30 on the clock here in the first round. You almost sensed that that spinning elbow was coming the same way he used it against Shogun back when he won the title in Newark, New Jersey. Head kick again. again. That high kick. Spinning. Wheel kick. Wow. Can he get him down? No. Went for a trip and Rampage defends it. Rampage has some very good takedown defense. And Rampage looks to land. Big swing at the end of the round. Big round for John Jones. First round complete. And here you see that spinning elbow. Look at this. Right to the top of the head. Deep breaths. Let's find that waterfall. That was an amazing round. Calm down. Now breathe, John. Guys, let, let, let Greg talk. Let Greg talk. Let me out, get some water. Take the center of the octagon, does Rampage, and he wants to close the distance again with a head kick, though. He knows, does Rampage, that he can't stand outside with John Jones. This is what he wants. He wants to make it dirty, he wants to beat him up a little bit and test him like no one has before. But so far, he really hasn't been able to connect. Nice knee to the body there by John Jones. And oh, try that spinning elbow miss. again. He's got to hold the neck of Rampage. Rampage got to be careful here. Again, Jones is excellent with chokes and all sorts of different. Good takedown attempts there, Tony. He tried to throw the uppercut on the way out. Soon that side kick to the thigh. Such a good maneuver to keep your opponent at reach, especially when you're John Jones and you got the longest reach. Well, that's much any fighter in MMA. That was something that I've been wanting to see from Clinton for years, his leg kicks. Clinton, when he was with Colin Ayama, when he was training more Muay Thai, had some great kicks. He's a very powerful kicker. He just doesn't throw him very much, and because of that, he's, his repertoire is limited, and he's, he becomes more predictable. UFC 135's main event right here, right now. UFC 136, Saturday, October 8th. Toyota Center, Houston, Texas. Bud Light presents not one but two title fights. Frankie Edgar Gray Maynard conclude their title trilogy for the lightweight title. Jose Aldo fights Kenny Florian for the featherweight title. Live on pay-per-view, nine in the east, six in the west. Check your listings internationally. Chase him down. The direction to Rampage. Bring the fight to him. said not only as he did to you, Joe, for this fight, but throughout his career, and as he has developed his striking game, Mike Winklejohn has been the real key. Rampage is waiting on John Jones. He's been tagged so many times now that he's freezing and waiting for John Jones to move first. He's gone with the orthodox. He's gone with the southpaw stance throughout this fight. Nice leg kick. Swing and a miss. But he ties up Rampage right away, wisely. Rampage has got to break free when he's got a hold of him. He's close enough to hit him. He's got to really exert himself to break free and land. Like right there. Don't push away when you're that close. Throw shots. That's where he's got to land. When he's that close, when John Jones let go of him, he moved away. But he was so close. And the reason is he's worried about John Jones' attack. He's thinking about it. And that's why he moves away. But those opportunities when he's that close, he has to capitalize on that because he doesn't get very many of them. Yeah, they are few and far between. Another nice leg kick, two in a row. And he's Outside mixed them up. And then inside. Yep, he's mixed them up so nicely. That one right on the knee of Quentin Rampage Jackson. And again. Well, John is a real student of the game, Mike. You know, and 
He's, he watches all the greats, he watches tapes, and you can see by his attack, it's become so much more diverse Spinning back as his career in the UFC has progressed. To the midsection. The accumulation of these kicks are going to be a major factor in this title fight. And head kick. Rampage is frozen in front of him, staring at him now. He doesn't know what to do. And some wondered if Jones would stand and trade with Rampage. The answer is a definitive yes, but he's doing it on his terms, Joe. As he always does. Yep. Now starting to go a little more traditional, looking to establish the jab from the orthodox stance. He switches it up again. Under a minute on the clock in round two. Ho! Oh! Rampage has got to bomb rush John Jones. He cannot stay here on the outside and let John Jones pick him apart while he just utilizes his head movement. I mean, this is not enough. He's frozen. When was the last time you saw Rampage this, this tentative? Maybe never. I mean, I suppose it could be a part of some sort of a strategy to drag John into the third, fourth, and fifth round and see if he tires and then attack, but I doubt it. I just think he's being mesmerized by this kid's talent. And a lot of the MMA world has been for the last number of years. You can still never count out Quentin. No way. Quentin has that ridiculous power, yep. and he carries it with him late in the round. Look at this. Triangle attempt. Final seconds of the round, though. Wow. He pulled guard. So unpredictable. I mean, who the hell would have expected that? This kid can do everything. He's tired. Very comfortable, man. He's kicking his ass. Have a seat. Of John Jones. All kinds of kicks. Head kicks, leg kicks, side kicks to the leg, high kicks, front leg side kicks. Just what an arsenal this kid has. Now look at this. Right when you think you've seen everything, he pulls guard and tries a flying triangle. Can he change the way this fight has gone for 10 minutes? I, mean, I don't know what Rampage's corner told him in between those rounds. But he's got to do something. He's got to figure out something. And that helps. He threw a kick. The neck is in the arm, though, now. Mark threw it. Oh, tried to that time, Joe. Now that where, that's where Rampage has a chance. Any little stumble that John Jones makes. And it may come down to just hitting that one pitch. It may come down to the home run for Rampage. Well, Rampage is throwing leg kicks now. John has some very thin legs. If Rampage can land these leg kicks over and over again, who knows? They, they, that could be something that changes the fight. But Rampage's got to be very active with those leg kicks. There's another one. That's what I'm talking about. Now he's mixing it up. That's what we need to see. Yep, you want him not to be one-dimensional with his striking. It's and so with the kicks, he isn't. It's been so important his entire career. He's just so good at, at striking with his hands that he relies on it. But now his, his only success that he's had so far is his leg kicks. And he'd like to slow down the attack of John Jones by punishing the left and right thigh. But he did a couple, and then he stopped. He's got to keep that up right there. Don't let Jones do it to you. Get him off. Get him off. Good kick by Jones. That inside leg kick was there a moment ago. Now he wants to leg does Jones. He's got him down and moves instantly into side control. And he has vicious elbows with his ground and pound. And watch his knees to the body because he gets his hips up and drives down with oh fury. My oh, my. Full mount. Explodes into the mount on Rampage here in the third round. Rampage is in all sorts of trouble here with 3.20 to go. He torques the elbows. He's going to scoot him towards the fence. Postured up. And here comes his vicious elbows. Looking to finish the fight right here. Rampage is trying to control his wrist. And he eats another elbow and another punch. Rampage has got a hip escape. He's got a buck. There he goes. There he goes. He's got to keep going. Got to keep wow, going. What a great job He's by up. Quinton. He's up. He's up. But John's got his neck. 
Oh, nicely done. With the heel to the leg. Rampage gets out of a very bad position where he is fully mounted. But that one elbow connected with the right side of the face of Rampage. Rampage is bleeding. That's from that big elbow, Joe. To the body nice now. kick to the body. Shin to the gut. Just past the midway point of this championship fight. The Anderson Silva kick to the face and the Odom Machida as well. And Rampage has abandoned those leg kicks, Mike, and they were the thing that he was successful at early in the round. Cut right above the right eye of one of the all-time elite fighters in MMA history, Quentin Rampage Jackson, 32 wins. Seven nice in the UFC. Hook. Jones was seven as well. And a nice kick yeah. to the knee. And that kind of looked up at the clock after that one, Joe. Oh. Look at that. He throws a jab and right behind him, a, a nice elbow, and sweetly moves out of harm's way. Rampage looking up at the clock again. Remember, it was a huge flying knee against Shogun. That kind of spelled uh, the true ending of that championship fight. Lead left hook. If you watch John Jones' first fight in the UFC and then compare his striking now, it is amazing. It's amazing that it's only been a few years. Because this is like 10 years of development. More. Axe kicks, pressing kicks, spinning fists. It's the elbows. way it looks, too. It, the, the way he's, he's throwing these techniques expertly. If you truly... Went on your computer and, and designed the ultimate, ultimate fighter. And there's the flying knee. John Jones with his reach and the creativity of his striking. Be a great place to start. And the intelligence, the intelligence to train correctly, to learn the technique properly, to not rely on his physical talents, but to constantly be expanding his repertoire. Switch kick, Rampage got out of the way. Head down, hands down now, and a big jab from Jones. And it really is one of the differences between him and Quinton. Quinton has really stuck to what has got him to the game. And that, you know, what gets him to the dance is those hands. I mean, at times, John Jones... Oh, well, look at that. Like, right, right there is Anderson Silva-like in his striking. And, and Anderson Silva's been doing it his whole life. Final seconds of the third round. John just standing right in front of him, totally relaxed. Look at that. Wow, that was a that was a huge diss. He just chucked him to the ground on yep. purpose. That was to let him know I can do that anytime I want to. Sit down and listen. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, listen, son. Listen. You've got to let more leather go, and you've got to get in range. You it. must get in range, son, and let the leather go. Around right, round four, round four. Listen to me. You've got to put it on him, Quentin. You're letting him rest. He's working the leather first, like you said. And there's the Quentin Jackson stu stuffed into side control, and here Quentin gets cut. John Jones hits him with a vicious elbow, and here Quentin escapes, pushes him off, does a great job of getting back to his feet. But really, the only success that he had in that round, there you see his knee hyperextended, that hurt. The only success he had in that round was those leg kicks. And I'm not hearing that from his corner. They're, they're telling him to get in range. They're telling him you got to put it on. Specifically, he must throw leg kicks. First time in the championship rounds for John Jones. As he finished Shogun at 237 of the third to become the new light heavyweight champion. He's so relaxed coming in his fourth round. I'm like, look at him. I mean, they keep saying he's got to get into range, but specifically what he's got to do, he's got to mix up his attack. He's got to throw kicks. That jab again. Oh, nice lead left hook. He got hurt. He yep. got hurt. Quick's hurt. Big time. That left hook. Oh, he missed with a kick, though. And he spins those hips. if Rampage can do anything from this position. Jones had a scholarship, was recruited by Iowa State, had an offer after 
being a junior college All-American in wrestling. He's got the neck. Great he's got his wrestling. neck. He's got his neck. He's trying to finish his neck, though, but he's got him pinned up against the cage, and he's on top. Nice elbow. Bad position for Quinton. Ah, oh, nice knee. Beautiful knee to the body, reminiscent of Rashad and Tito Ortiz. He's got his back. He's got one hook. Rampage has not been stopped in the octagon. That's what Jones wants, to be the first man in the UFC to stop. Quentin Rampage Jackson has got him. Looking to do it right here. Oh, man, Looking to finish this fight. Quentin's trying to pry it off. It's all That's over! It. John Jones has defended his UFC Light Heavyweight Championship. He stops Quentin.